Whilst I've stated that I personally don't use the Smooth tool, there is a use for it perhaps for beginner logo designers. Here in the symbol, you might have drawn this with either the pen tool or the pencil tool and the result might be lacklustre. As you can see, the curve here doesn't flow too well. Now typically this might be a result that you'd achieve from the pencil tool. If it were the pen tool, you'd just do an anchor point here and an anchor point here and it'd be a smooth curve. So this is more or less something you might experience with the pencil tool with a fidelity slider closer to accurate than smooth. So if this is the case, we can now go on to remedy this by clicking on the symbol or the illustration and then selecting the smooth tool here. Once that's selected, we simply trace over the path by clicking and dragging across, like so, and you'll see that it begins to smooth out the path. We do it again if we haven't achieved the desired result. and you'll see this is getting better in each instance. So we keep on doing this until we achieve the desired result. You don't have to get a perfect result because we can now go in and edit these anchor points using the direct selection tool as we normally do. So you might wish to consider using the smooth tool and then going in and using the direct selection tool and the anchor points and the the segment adjustment as I've instructed previously. Now another use for the smooth tool might be to apply to fonts. Now some fonts, particularly the free fonts that we might download, come with a series of glitches quite often. Now a glitch is something that you see in this G here. You'll see how it doesn't flow very well so this is something we might use the smooth tool on. So clicking the G, clicking the smooth tool, and zooming in. I'm now going to apply it to this glitch in the G. So if we click here, and we drag around the path, you'll see that that path has now been smoothened off, and that's almost perfect, and that's on the first try. So that's how you use the smooth tool. Like I say, you might want to go about correcting your symbols if you've made a mistake with the pencil tool, if it's a little bit too jaggedy, for instance, or you might wish to correct some lackluster font. The most important thing to remember is don't use a smooth tool as a substitute to mastering the pen tool and its functions. Use it to remedy the bulk of the glitch and then use a the direct selection tool, the control handles and the segments to make the graphic perfect.